Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habitifillah one of the things that we have to remember as practitioners of the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is to know our levels and know uh, our levels of understanding in Islam and to practice as much as we can to come closer to Allah Azza wa Jal and to remember that everything we do and say with regards to the religion should be uh, considered an act of worship and as Shaykh Islam Ibn Taymiyyah mentions when he talked about the concept of worship in Islam he said Al-Ibadah is some jamid لِكُلُّ مَا يُحِبُّهُ اللَّهُ وَيَرْضَى مِنْ أَعْمَالِ الظَّاهِرِ وَبَاطِنِ Shaykh Islam Ibn Taymiyyah he mentions that the concept of worship, worship is a comprehensive term and it is everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves and hates from those deeds everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves and is pleased with from those actions which are internal or external so that lets us know that the concept of worship in Islam is very broad and I wanted to mention that as a reminder to myself and my brothers and sisters uh, in accordance with a beautiful statement of Imam Fozan, which shows us that we shouldn't all engage in refuting and getting into those disputes uh, between the scholars and between Ahl Sunnah. Uh, Imam Fozan, he says, it is impermissible for beginning students and laypersons to busy with declaring people to be innovators or sinners because it is a serious matter and they do not possess knowledge and competency in these issues. And I think that should suffice us if we say that we're from Ahl Sunnah and we say we're following the Salaf and we have mountains of knowledge like Imam Fozan advising us and letting us know that it's impermissible uh, and this isn't just from his ra'i, it's not just from his opinion, but we can go back to the statements of the Salaf, the Salaf al-Salih, Allahi alayhim, and see that not everyone uh, got involved in the, the vast sciences of Islam, like Jarwa Ta'deel, and, uh, you know, criticizing and uh, praising uh, narrators and, and, and so on and so forth, that these are complex issues and it's not for everyone to involve themselves or in, involve themselves in and especially even the beginning student of knowledge. So then what about the lay persons like you and I? So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and guide us and bless us to take and practice this and not involve ourselves in controversial issues uh, that we should not be speaking about with Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on the Muhammad.